Icon and Decent go as far as to argue that uh, this deal will be the company's final death knell if it's approved. So part of the agreement, which was updated in 2001, states that uh, if a named competitor ever acquired more than 30% of Xerox, Fujifilm had the right to terminate the Fuji Xerox agreement completely. So a big criticism uh, by Darwin Deason of Xerox is uh, the restrictive nature of that agreement and the fact that uh, investors uh, were not made aware of those terms. That's at least what he claims. Xerox claims that those terms were disclosed and, and have been available. As far as their response to uh, initial news of the deal, though, partners have uh, reacted pretty favorably to it. They uh, see a lot of potential in uh, the opportunity to uh, expand their apps business uh, to the Asia Pacific market, which again has previously uh, not been accessible by Xerox through the Fuji Xerox agreement. Um, and uh, it's a company they're all familiar with uh, working with as well, because again, this. Fuji Xerox agreement has been around since 1962.